Hello beautiful amazing people out there, it's Gabriela from C and today I'm gonna be trying out a DIY lash lift kit. I ordered this one from Amazon, this is the brand Icon Sign. This was $26, um, I ordered it on Prime and it got like to my house like two days after, so that's good. So let's just open it up and see, well okay let's first read. Um, use the cleanser number four to remove oil, dust, and makeup residue. Okay, so beforehand, you gotta make sure that you have zero mascara residue because that can affect the lasting uh, effect of the kit itself. Okay, I'm just gonna read this as I open this because this is kind of like the steps of things that I have to do and if I read it first, then I'm gonna have to read it again, so that makes no sense. But I went this route instead of the lash extensions because I just feel that lash extensions literally kill your eyelashes. So I feel like lash lift is kind of more gentler on your eyes and if I don't have to put on mascara every day and my lashes are always going to be curly, I'm all for it. So let's just open this bad boy. Oh, this is so cute. So this is what it looks like. So it tells you on each bottle it says what which step is which one two three four this is the false lash glue so i didn't come to the lash glue hmm, crazy okay clean tool okay so first impressions i really really like the packaging it is so cute it's very compact very light um so that's nice so I think something I should read that is important. It has a shelf life of 18 months. It comes from China. That's good. And so I'm gonna re read the safety precaution. Please remove contact lenses before usage. Make sure the solutions do not touch your skin. If you have red eyes or any other eye conditions, please stop immediately. Number two, if the solution gets in your eyes, or cause irritation, immediately flush your eyes with cool water for 15 minutes and seek medical attention. Please keep product away from children at all times. And if you're sensitive, if you have sensitive skin or are prone to reactions, use a patch test before usage. Please keep product away from direct sunlight to avoid damage. And number six and last is the manufacturers, importers, and distributors are not responsible for misuse and damage caused by this product. So I think that's stuff that is pretty important to know because since it's kind of like semi-permanent solutions and stuff, it's gonna be quite strong. So you gotta kind of know what you're doing. And again, I went this route instead of the lash extensions because this is something that you can do more on yourself. Clean tool. Okay, so this is the clean tool that comes with this thing. Oh, it comes with a, like a little brush on this end and I guess that's the stuff you use to uh, push your lashes upwards. Okay. Okay, I already cleansed my lashes. I already made sure that I removed all the residue, but just to be safe, I am going to do that with the solution number four because it is on the steps and I want to get the best um, results I can get. Okay, so I'm gonna use some cotton sticks. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> and I'm just gonna dip it here. And I'm just gonna gently rub it against my eyelashes. And it's very gentle, like my eyes are not stinging or anything, so that's good. One thing about this um, package is that you have to be really, really careful because the amounts that come in this are just the right amount to do this maybe once or twice. I haven't done it so I don't know how much product I'm going to use but like it doesn't come in jars like this is what it comes in. There's the containers are pretty tiny so if you spill it or anything you're screwed. So make sure you're very careful. Now step number two is to apply the eye pads onto your eyes. Ooh. So it comes with a bunch of them. I don't know if they're reusable or not. 
doesn't really say. Um, but I guess I'll find out. The iPads have like a silicone texture. Okay. So it doesn't need any liquid or anything to stick to my eye. It just it's stuck in there pretty good. So that's good. Next step is put glue on the iPad, then place it on the upper part of the lid. Make sure it is stayed. Okay, so for the under part, we don't need glue, but for the upper part, we do. So this is the glue. So the glue, there's a lot of it. And I wonder if this, you can use it on, like as a lash glue, because it says false lash glue. <laughs> so if I could use this for my lashes, that'd be awesome. Okay, so it says, put glue on the pants, okay. Doesn't say how much, so I'm just gonna cover the whole thing just to make sure. Okay, I'll crank it. So the glue is not quite strong which I'm okay with because I don't want strong solutions like on my eye area. Yeah, the glue is not staying. So the, this part is kind of tricky because it sticks and then it doesn't want to stick. So I, I think you just have to take your time and make sure that all the parts are sticking properly. Okay, so for this eye, I put glue on the lid and I put glue on the pad. I'm just gonna blow it a little bit so it's a little bit tacky and hopefully it works better. Okay, so that definitely worked better, the gluing to the lid and gluing the thing on top because this is like holding really well but the right eye is like struggling to hold. So from looking at videos, this is, you're supposed to use the end with the little comb to comb your lashes upwards. So let's apply the glue on the lashes, okay. That's what we shall do. So I guess the glue is what you use to make the lashes stick to the pads. That's something I didn't know. I thought I thought you used like the solution. Using your finger is a lot better and efficient than the stupid brush. I already feel a thousand times prettier. <laughs> stupid brush definitely doesn't do shit. Just use your finger, you know. Sometimes we try to be way too fancy using brushes and tools when sometimes our fingers are the best tool. That is sticking pretty well. I'm gonna do one more layer just to be safe. It doesn't say how much you're supposed to do. I just want the lashes to stick to the pad because otherwise they're not gonna be curly enough. And I still have some lashes that are sticking out. And this is supposed to hold, okay? And no, this lash glue, I don't think it can be used for gluing lashes because it's too gentle. It doesn't really hold. So I don't think it will hold your lashes, unfortunately. Okay, so this is what your lashes should look when they're all glued up and pressed. I can already tell this eye is gonna be, the lashes are gonna be more lifted because the, I put the pad lower on this one. And yeah, I don't know if I can fix it. Use perm lotion number one. So that's this guy here. La la la. It's a white solution, it kind of looks like milk uh, on the lashes. Then cover your eyes with a plastic wrap. Perming time, 10 to 12 minutes. So I guess this is the solution that will 
hold the lashes in the shape. So I'm gonna get some plastic wrap to wrap my lashes. Okay, so this doesn't come with any brushes or anything, so I'm gonna use a cotton swab. Is this even working? Oh, I didn't I take on the lid. <laughs> oh. uh, it smells disgusting. All right. Okay, this doesn't surprise me because since this, this is kind of like permanent stuff or whatever, then oh, I'm thinking this is not a good idea because the cotton is kind of getting stuck on my lashes, so I'm just gonna use my. I'm just gonna put a lot of it just to make sure that it stays in there. You can even kind of do like the roots of your lashes, but be very, very careful, especially if you have sensitive eyes. Okay, that side is done, so I'm gonna wrap it. This is not, <laughs> it's not sticking. So I'm just gonna put some, some of this glue to make the plastic stay because otherwise, this is not gonna hold. Now on to the other eye. I feel like a fashion icon. Okay, that looks nice and wrapped. And it says to wait 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, so. We're just gonna wait. So, something that I'm noticing about this kit is that they're not very specific about instructions. I've never done this before, so I don't know how it goes, but basically once you put the solution number one, you wrap it in the saran wrap, and then you're supposed to have your eyes closed for like 50 minutes because I was like on my phone and stuff, and with the wrap on top, it kind of, the lashes were kind of moving around. The lashes were really holding in place with the glue, but once you put the solution number one, they will start moving around. So just leave everything you're doing and for those uh, 12 to, uh, 10 to 12 minutes, just close your eyes so they don't move around. I left the solution, I left the perming part on for 15 minutes just because I was moving around a lot for the first few minutes until I noticed that my lashes were moving around a lot. So I was like, it. So there we go. Now we're gonna carry on. Uh, use la la la, like that. Remove the perm lotion number one with white brush. Then apply fixing agent number two on the eyelash, then cover your plastic wrap for 10 to 12 minutes. So we're repeating this step again, but this time with solution number two. So now I know better. So once I put this solution, I will wrap it and then close my eyes. So does that take a while? I've been at it for probably 45 minutes now and I'm halfway. This one doesn't smell so bad. The number one did smell horrible and as time progressed, I feel like it was more prominent. Okay, it's time to carry on. So, now that we did that, we have to use cleanser number four to clean off all residue with the brush, wiping with the calm side. But this doesn't come with a lash tint? Oh, that sucks. I thought it came with a tint. Okay, that's kind of lame. So the solution number three, it's here. So it says each solution is five milliliters and has a storage life of six months. 
So that's okay because you can do it like once a month and you get six uses out of it, which I think it's pretty good for the price I paid. The, nour the nourishing solution kind of smells like shampoo. And at this point I'm just doing it with the cotton swab just because I thought there was going to be tinting but there isn't, this is the last step, so it doesn't really matter. And I'm gonna use the Nourish Solution on my bottom lashes as well. Let's do a final reveal as to what they look like. So this is what they look like. I feel like the right side worked a lot better, I don't know why. I thought honestly that the left eye was going to be a lot more dramatic but I definitely love the look. It looks like I'm wearing mascara and they look really cute. Um, so if they do stay like this for a week or so, I'm going to be very impressed. Um, I wish the kit that I bought came with the lash tint to make it to make the lashes like black and really beautiful but I think the final result is still really nice I don't really recommend this for if you're impatient because it did take me like pretty much an hour to do this so this definitely takes some patience and if you can have someone else do it for you it would be better because that way you can make sure that all the lashes are like stuck and your eyes are closed. It's kind of hard to keep your eyes closed when you have to keep checking the time and so yeah. Would I recommend this? Yeah, um, but it's not something crazy. I definitely think that lash extensions are kind of like the next level. But if you don't really like lash extensions and you want to give your eyes a nice rest from makeup, I think this is a great alternative. Um, I give this product um, kind of like an 8 out of 10 just because it doesn't come with the lash tint. And the pads, I had a really hard time having them stick to my face. And I put a lot of glue, like I put glue on my skin, I put glue on the pads, and they were still like falling off. So that is definitely something that I struggled with. But other than that, I thought the results were very nice and I think it looks good. So I got this from Amazon with Prime and arrived two days after, so that was great. And so this is what the thing looks like. Well, I hope you guys liked this. It's kind of like I wanted to give it a try to see how hard it is to do it by yourself because I know that there's lash technicians that charge $100 for doing this when you can get the kit for $25 on Amazon and just do it yourself. So yeah, there are, there are kits that are more expensive. So I would assume that those kits do come with the solution. So that is something that would depend on your pocket, on your budget, but this is what, this is the results that I got from this kit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think my lashes definitely did. Now I just have to remove the glue residue from my eyelids and I am ready to party.